On this video, we'll take a look at Gourmet Recipe Manager. This is a manager for recipes, and it's available for uh, Ubuntu and other uh, Linux distributions. And uh, to get it in Ubuntu, go to Applications, Ubuntu Software Center, and start searching for Gourmet. Uh, it should find it and uh, just go ahead and install it from here. Uh, once you do that, you can access it by going to Applications, Accessories, and Gourmet Recipe Manager. Okay, so this is the manager here. And uh, when you first get it, there are not going to be any uh, recipes included with it. So you have to get those uh, from other sources. And you can even create your own if you want to. I have a link for you where you can uh, download some recipes. And there's tons of them here. And uh, basically when you get one of these uh, uh, I'll pick this uh, Cajun style recipes. You can see that there's 66 of them here. And uh, just download it. And it's going to be a zip file. As you can see it's right here. And uh, to import it on your uh, recipe manager, click File and Import File. And now you just uh, find your zip file and select it and click Open. And click OK down here. And OK again. And it should start importing the recipes. Okay, so once that's done, you can uh, click close, and as you can see, it added the recipes right here. And uh, it's showing 1, 2, 12, and there are 67. Now, to see one of these recipes, if I pick one here, uh, maybe this uh, baked oysters, uh, if I double click it, I'll get the recipe card. And uh, the recipe card basically gives you the serving size, uh, the category, sometimes it will give you the cooking time, and uh, then you have the instructions. And on the right side here you have ingredients. Okay, now th a nice thing about this, uh, this program is if I change the serving size, the ingredients uh, amounts should change automatically. So if I, if I change it from 4 to 2, you'll notice that the ingredients will change too according to uh, the serving size. Um, another thing is uh, I'll have to open another res recipe. So if I uh, open this one where it has some times here in the prep like preparation times or so um, you can see that it's a link here and if you click it you should get a timer and it's automatically set to the right amount of time and once you click start here it will start counting down and when it gets to zero an alarm will sound so this is nice if you have a computer in your kitchen or close by to your kitchen uh, you can use it and it makes uh, uh, doing certain things a lot easier so that's one thing and uh, another thing here is uh, if you can improve a recipe or you found a better way of uh, preparing it you can click edit and edit the instructions or you can edit the ingredients and uh, you know make it your own another nice feature here is uh, as you can see here on the top there is a shop button 
and if you click that it will create a shopping list for you automatically so if you're making this for dinner and you need to go to the grocery store to get the ingredients for it it'll uh, make this automatically for you and as you can see it'll uh, list the ingredients here and the amount and uh, here you see there is an already have uh, most people have some salt and uh, they will not need it if the recipe calls for water too it will add it here so you know people don't need to go to the grocery store to buy water so it will not include it in your list now you can add recipes from uh, other uh, sources too uh, a good source is uh, the Food Network's website and if you go to the Food Network's website and pick a recipe from there uh, let's see there's a uh, basic Italian Uh, let's say I wanna pick this one I have to find one so I'll just pick one randomly okay so this is a recipe page right here and uh, when you get to this page all you have to do is uh, copy the link so copy that go back to your manager and go to file import web page and then just copy the link here and click OK and just give it a couple seconds okay when done just click close and you can edit some things here but you really don't have to it automatically um, organizes the recipe to be displayed correctly on this uh, program so just click OK at the bottom here and it will look for uh, the pictures that are available in that page so you have to make sure to pick the right picture if I go back to that um, to the website you can see that the right picture is this one right here so I will go back to the manager and pick that picture and it's right there so just select it click OK and their recipe is added uh, I forgot what what it was called so let me go back here alright so I'll just copy this the name of the recipe paste it here and as you can see it found it and the picture is added right there and uh, just like the other recipes if you just double click it it'll open the recipe card with the ingredients uh, the serving size, some more information and uh, instructions on how to make the recipe. Okay, so just give it a try. Uh, you can even uh, create your own recipes here if you go to File and New. So you can uh, make your own recipes there. Uh, just give it a try. Thanks for watching.